guys welcome back to my channel today I have finished work for the day I am doing half a day because I'm getting my iron infusion and I thought you might be interested in what happens and I'm gonna bring you along I don't know if I can film in there but I will ask anyway here is the iron <laughs> It cost me $41. You have to buy it from the chemist, take it to your GP, and then they um, will put it into you via an IV. Now, my iron hasn't always been the best. I really have struggled with like quite heavy periods, and I had some issues with that probably, I don't know, about three or four years ago. Because of that, I am on the oral contraceptive pill. I have never really spoken about that because I know the pill gets a bad rap. However, it really works for me. I think pair that with the way that I was eating when I went through that breakup and like that depressive patch, I wasn't eating very like nutrient rich foods. And so I had a, my first ever infusion in October last year. My iron and ferritin levels were so low. They were at like one or two, not very good. I, I was really struggling back then. After that infusion, I started to feel better about two weeks later. And then I had a blood test in Feb. I was given like the all clear. Everything was back to normal. My eating habits were a little bit more balanced, a little bit more um, wholesome, nourished, whatever you want to call it. And then I went and donated blood. I love donating blood. And since then, I have just felt progressively worse. And so we did a blood test. And what do you know? My iron levels are back at two. And so here we are. And I'm going to be late for my appointment. So without any further waiting, I'm going to take my little tripod and we're going to head in now. <laughs> okay, the infusion is done. The lighting in here is so bad. So I'm going to drive and get lunch. And then I'll give you guys a little rundown on everything. I'm feeling a little bit like rattled, if that makes sense took about an hour and about halfway through I could start tasting that metal taste uh, which is not pleasant but let me get out of this lighting and then I'll run through some other stuff I feel like that lighting is a little bit better anyway guys you can't see anything aside from a little band-aid now what I wanted to talk about is some of my symptoms and then I guess the steps I took in the process because I've had a lot of you ask me about this I was diagnosed with anemia when I had the last infusion. I did not know that I had low iron or low ferritin. And forgive me if I'm saying things incorrectly, I'm just talking about my experience. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a uh, trained professional, so I'm just doing my best. I actually went to donate blood and I went there and they check your hemoglobin. They do like a pin prick to make sure that like your red blood cell count is high enough. And I think it needs to be over 120. And my red blood cell count was about 80 at, at that point. And they were like, you need to go and have a blood test because something is not right. And then I did my blood test and I think my hemoglobin was quite low and my ferritin was quite, quite low. And I think they're the two markers that the doctor will be able to establish what you need. And my doctor was like, you need an immediate iron infusion because it's just too low. We can't wait. They were like, how are you feeling? And I said, I've been feeling not the best, but I put it down to my mental health. I was going through the breakup. We were in lockdown as well, or just coming out of lockdown. So I thought I was just feeling so bad because of all these other external things. And what I would say to that is don't gaslight yourself. If you are feeling unwell, go and get a blood test. If you are feeling any of the things I mentioned in the next bit, go and get a blood test. And so since then, once you have the first infusion, it can take anywhere from two to six weeks after you have it for your body to actually absorb it. My body thankfully absorbed the last uh, infusion quite well. And on the back of being so low in my red blood cell count and my ferritin count, I then started to notice other things in that period. Now, one of the things I've spoken about on YouTube a million times is my hair falling out. Um, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, probably not because of the lighting in here, but you might see it on my Instagram stories. I always have like bits of hair that have broken and started to grow back around here. I lose large, large clumps of hair from underneath as well. And in the back of my hairline, in the crown, all around here, and hair loss is a sign of having low iron levels. The other thing I noticed was I was extremely tired. I would get really dizzy um, and like very lightheaded. And then there's other things as well that I noticed just being being like really pale in the face, which I am quite pale um, when my tan, my, my natural tan wears off. And then also having like really cold hands and feet. I always have cold hands and feet. As you guys would know, 
I was feeling better. I even donated blood in, I think, March or April. And ever since then, I started to notice these things happening again. I started to notice my hair falling out in large clumps again. I started to notice I was feeling really tired. I don't know if you guys watched my vlog last week, but I was really struggling to get through every day. Like it was like my candle was like burnt to the end or I was running on empty. I was a car running on empty. And so I did end up having a blood test um, about two or three weeks ago and we realized that I need another one because um, the levels had dipped to the same levels as what they were last time. And my doctor has officially banned me from donating blood until, um, yeah, it's it's a bit more stabilized. And I think to that, I would say the onus is probably on me to probably eat more iron rich foods, but also making sure that I'm having enough vitamin C because you need to have iron rich foods with vitamin C so that they absorb. And it also means not having iron rich foods around the time that you have caffeine because I think that counteracts each other too. So I've got a little bit more work to do on my diet, but this infusion I know will help me because it helped me last time. I did feel quite sick last time. I hope that I don't feel as sick this time. Uh, some of the things that I felt were dizziness, a bit of like brain fog afterwards, like I'm feeling the brain fog right now. I also had a metallic taste. I mentioned that before. The metal taste that you feel going like during it is your, is your body absorbing it, right? The metal taste that you feel afterwards, I think, is your body absorbing it too, but I can't explain it. It almost tastes like you've got blood in your mouth. If you know that taste, that's kind of the metallic taste that I had. And I also just had, like, no appetite. I was just off food. I ha At this point in time right now, I'm about to go get lunch before that happens because I'm still I'm feeling hungry. I feel like I could eat. I would say they were, like, the main things. There are a whole heap of side effects that can happen when you get an infusion and I would always say speak to your doctor speak to your GP sometimes if your levels are not low enough they will recommend like a tablet um, kind of dosage or like a liquid dosage that you can take which I would recommend I just didn't have like the time or the luxury to, to take that and wait because the levels were so low but I would say talk to your GP and whenever you are feeling sick even if even if you think, oh, you know, I might feel better in a few days, just just check it out. There's no harm in getting a blood test, especially if you're not feeling like your usual self. And I know um, someone like myself, and depending on what you're like, you might think, oh, you know, I've just got a lot going on, or oh, life has been a bit crazy at the moment. But I think it was a good reminder to me. Anyway, when it happened the second time, it was a good reminder to me to just really check in with myself and ask myself if I really am feeling okay or feeling exhausted. Um, and I was feeling exhausted, so I can't wait for this to like kick in. I'm going to go get some lunch now, and then when I come back, I'll chat through a little bit more with you guys. But oh, let's go get some food. I feel tired. I feel like I could have a nap. I just got really... Then. Guys, I got a Pokeball for lunch. I'm going to eat this now. I'm feeling okay. I do feel like there's a slight headache coming on, which is quite normal. And I also feel a little bit like disjointed. Um, as I mentioned before, a bit of brain fog and a little bit like I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's also avocado in here, by the way. Mm. Anyway. I am going to go inside now. I feel like I've covered everything off in that last clip. As I said, those symptoms, those side effects were specific for me. I love sharing stuff with you guys. The doctor does warn you post like infusion. You may feel very energetic at that two week mark. You may feel like, oh my gosh, I can run a marathon and be all energized and whatnot. But it's actually probably better for you to stick to your normal routine. Don't push your body. Don't push the limits. Just keep everything the way that it is. Um, that way your body can just adapt and absorb it properly without putting more stress onto your body or, you know, causing yourself to become tired because you're actually exerting way more energy than usual. So that's something to be mindful of if you do have an infusion. The other thing, and I nearly forgot, uh, the pain. It feels like you're getting a blood test. And if you've ever donated plasma, there's that blood comes out, they spin it, and then they red blood cells back into you and they take the plasma from your blood. When that blood is going back into you, that's kind of what the feeling is. It doesn't feel cold or tingly. It just, you can feel like a little bit of pressure there at the point. I do it at my local doctor. They, the nurse there 
is able to administer the iron you can also do it at your local hospital but I think the process there takes a little bit longer because I actually keep you in for I think half a day for about four hours to like monitor you I would much rather do it at the doctor just because it's easier and then I can leave after that I also forgot to mention wow I really am losing it it cost me $150 today to do that plus the $41 for the iron so all up, it cost me about $1.91, which I think is very expensive. It's not covered by Medicare and you don't get like any rebate on it. But again, for me, I would rather pay that and just know that I'm going to feel a little bit better because I did feel better last time. But guys, I'm going to quickly go inside and eat and then take it easy. I want to say thank you. What the hell? Also losing it. <laughs> we hit 10K on YouTube. What? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If you are one of those 10k people, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I see all of your comments. I see all of your support. I did post on my story today. It means so much to me when people choose to subscribe, when people choose to watch my videos on YouTube, purely because out of every platform that I have, I feel like the most energy goes into that and it just means a lot. And so what that means is we're going to have a giveaway. Now, I haven't decided how I'm going to run it, but I will be posting a video to my YouTube channel this week. You will see it probably before the vlog, and that will have all the information on how to enter. So make sure you keep an eye out for that because I really want you to win. I will be picking multiple winners. And the reason that I do that is because I don't like to just pick one person. I want multiple people to win, but this giveaway is going to be jam-packed and my biggest one yet. But guys, I'm going to jump inside, jump inside. I'm going to run inside and eat because I'm starting to get hungry and I'm starting to get a little bit tired. <sighs> but I love you. I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the day. Thank you again for your support. And I will see you in the next video, which will be the giveaway details. And then I'll see you in the weekly vlog. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Mwah. Big kisses.